Hello, my name is Len Nassman. When I'm not here in the computer room helping residents with their computer problems, creating tutorials for computer users, or editing videos, I frequently wander around the Bristol Village campus taking pictures with my digital camera. The campus covers over 130 acres in scenic southern Ohio. There are over 300 individual houses, and the retirement community has been around for over 50 years. I'd like to show you a few of my pictures to give you an idea of what the Bristol Village campus looks like through the seasons. This part of southern Ohio has a temperate four-season climate. If the weather has been just right, the spring flowering trees put on a magnificent display. The summits here are pleasant, and most years temperatures reach over 90 degrees for only a few rare days. There are many mature hardwood street trees, and the fall colors can be thrilling. Winters can bring snow and cold, but during most winters, the maintenance crews only need to shovel and plow our driveways and sidewalks fewer than a dozen times per season. Compared to northern Ohio, we consider our winters to be rather mild. We have a full four-season climate here in Bristol Village, but without the dramatic severe weather seen in most other parts of the country. Bristol Village is a walker's delight. The mostly level terrain has lovely streets and over three miles of paved walking paths. Because the village has been in existence for over 50 years, the street trees are mature. And when the weather has been just right, the spring flowering trees put on quite a show. Many residents spend a lot of time landscaping their individual homes. And some have added many personal touches to the yards beside their houses. Some residents display lovely collections of perennial and annual flowers, while some have unusual varieties of plants and flowers. For example, 
This night blooming cereus is the size of a dinner plate, but it only blooms once a year. So when it's about to open, the word goes out and residents gather around for the view. Although residents landscape around their homes with creative arrays of perennials and annuals, the serious gardeners join the garden club for $5 a year and take on a 25 by 50 foot garden plot. Throughout the summer, a large volume of vegetables are produced in the individual garden plots. A table is located in the Glen Activity Center where gardeners place their excess production free for the taking. But you have to get there early each day to get the pick of the crop. While visiting the community gardens, you might notice the nearby RV park. Resident RVers have a place for their rigs. There's even a dumping station available. One of the jewels of Bristol Village is the Cooper Wildflower Woods. Mary Cooper organized members of the Horticulture Club and received permission from the administration to take over and improve a woodlot on campus. Paths and benches have been added along with an increasing collection of wildflowers. The show starts before the snow is melted in the spring when the aconite and snowdrops begin appearing. To fully enjoy the collection of wildflowers, it's necessary to visit the wildflower woods every day, especially in the spring, when warmer weather causes some varieties to bloom quick and fade fast. Bristol Village does not have an activity director on staff, and the residents prefer this arrangement, since one person could not coordinate the more than four dozen resident organized activities. Some resident activities have had a significant impact on the campus landscape. For example, a few years ago, a group of residents got together to create a labyrinth. Although this 50-foot diameter structure may look like a maze, it is actually patterned after labyrinths that have been created as meditation aids for more than a thousand years. Another resonant organized feature is the dog park. This fenced area that includes benches for owners and even a doggy drinking fountain provides a place for residents to exercise and socialize their dogs. The dog park is near the Bristol Village Tennis Court, and it's also near a playground for visiting grandchildren. Pike County, Ohio, where Bristol Village is located, has an interesting past. Several ponds along the north edge of the campus were once part of the Ohio Erie Canal. The local Rotary Club, which many Bristol Village residents belong to, contributed to the creation of an exhibit commemorating the Ohio Erie Canal. Local history goes far into the past. There are a number of ancient mounds in the area, and the mysterious 2,000-year-old Waverly Tablet was discovered within walking distance of Bristol Village. The Glen Activity Center is a 65,000 square foot facility 
that contains an auditorium, a cafe, a blank branch, a large library, an arts and crafts space, a woodworking shop, a swimming pool with a spa, an indoor walking track, and several meeting and multi-purpose rooms. There are YouTube videos available that describe the DeGlen Center in more detail. Whether you stroll the streets and paths of Bristol Village in the spring, the summer, the fall, or the winter, you're sure to find scenes to delight the senses. Please visit us here at Bristol Village. The residents are ready to welcome you and to tell you why we consider this place one of the best kept retirement living secrets anywhere.